I hope you are enjoying this game so far. And we're gonna jump right back into it and see what we got going on. Resume. We arrive well in time for the night train and we meet up with a pair of friendly paces before leaving. Hank! Mary! I didn't know you guys were taking the night train. Paul! Peter! I didn't know you had business in the next town over. There's an investor party over there, so this gorilla wanted to crash it. Peter, have you forgotten the best part already? Strong cider straight from the tap. I'm happy you're sending me a good example by taking the train. By the way, can you say hi to Mr. Abrams for me if you see him? He seems to be taking the train tonight as well. Paul, we need to load up our robot. Kids, we'll see you later. I'm not sure it's a good idea for Mr. Abrams to get on this train. How come, detective? Good to see you, Mr. Abrams. I believe it would be unwise for you to take this train ride. There's a good chance that Gold is sneezing on there, as well as Steep, and he or she may try to harm you. Come on, detective. Do you think I'd be scared over a little threat like that? I'll see you at the bistro wagon. Honey, everything okay? Yeah, the situation just got a bit more dangerous, but it's okay. I can handle it. Mary, what are you doing here? Safira? I'm just awoke to go on an epic quest with my hobby. Great to see you two together for one. I need to get my luggage to my cabin now, but I'll see you later. Take care, you two. See you later, Safira. You two know each other? Yes, from Alice's self-defense party. Why? I'm about to get on a train with the perpetrator of crime, main victim of my heist, the main suspect of said heist, and my dear... Dear family, also my wife seemed to spend time with the alleged criminal. I just wanted a quiet train ride. Oh, don't worry, my love. I'll predict you. Usually I'd enjoy a good train ride, but there are too many important people on this ride for it to be enjoyable. Fortunately, I came prepared. I told the police force to take some precautions over at the next station. And I told the conductor to skewer all of the goods and keep an extra close eye on the passenger. The good thing you've got the portable phone of yours on you so you can call everyone involved as needed. I'm not too fond of it, to be honest. I mean, if it wasn't required by the job, why would anyone want this? It runs out of steam within two days. Then I need to find a tap to refill the water. And if I'm lucky, someone calls in me on it just so I can say, Hi, this is Hank. I've got a phone with a landline four feet away, but I refuse to stand up and walk over to it. Grrr, I'm Hank, and I hate new things. I want to communicate using only smoke signals. Da, da, da. Come on, you gotta admit, that was funny. That was a spot-on imitation, honey. Too bad it was a me. Cheer up, honey. I know you're stressed out by this ride, but you can't blend him like that. Let's get a smile on your face so we can find that thief. As always, you may be daft, but you're definitely right. Let's get to business. Yes, let's do that. We can go in two directions on this train. Firstly, there's a front end with the cargo and the coke checks. Safira went there, so there's a, if there's any trouble on here, it's probably there. Then at the back of the train, there's the bistro wagon. Mr. Abrams went there, and since they have snacks, I reckon your parents are there too. So it's like a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. You truly are your father's daughter, aren't you? Do you really want me to make a joke about there being a high chance of relation? You've already done so, so let's not. 
Where do you think we should go? Let's go over to the front. Let's go to the front and train and have a nice cup of tea with Sapphira. I'm not sure that I want to. Hey, don't disappoint me. Sapphira has done nothing wrong. Not yet, anyways. Unless, of course, she's stolen the Golden Sneeze. Then she would have already done something wrong. And I'm guessing you think she's a guilty as a kid with a stolen cookie in their hand. No, it's innocent until proven guilty, honey. Then let's pay her a visit and prove her guilty. I guess I missed something. Let's see, whose coach section is this? Honey, what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to find Sapphira's luggage. You can't do that. People who aren't Sapphira will be very cross with you if you violate in their privacy. Come to think of it, Sapphira wouldn't be too happy about it either. On the contrary, Detective, I'm always happy about everything, whatever it was you were discussing. Sapphira, are you enjoying your venture on this grand train? Easy, sugar. I'm just traveling because of business meeting I'm going to for my restaurant. Just a business meeting? Then why are you taking all this luggage with you? Well, I bought these clothes on my way to the station and I wanted to try them all out. What did you get? What did you get? Honey, what are you... You have to come over and take a look. Where are you going? Just a minute, honey. We'll be right back. Aww. Later. At least much later than Hank would have liked. And we're back. Took you long enough. Hank, I didn't listen to your rambling about work just to remain completely ignorant about it. I quite literally went undercover. Interesting. What did you find out? Well, Spirit took all her fancy wardrobe with her. No cash or anything. Seems that she just took all of it with her to have something to do on the train. You know, try out clothes. So, what did you find out? Well, I found a tight black onesie with a hole in one of the legs. Might be used as a sort of underwear for overly revealing clothes. Or it could be used as a cat suit in a burglary. Well done, love. I couldn't have done it better myself. That would have involved you going into the ladies' room, Hank. That'd be a very, very bad idea. Let's move on to the front and see if we can find something out about the luggage compartment. We were near the luggage compartment at the front when suddenly... That didn't feel right. You shouldn't have hit the brakes that hard in this parking track. Honey, I think we should take a look out, out the window. That's Tomui. That little girl just stopped a train. I have seen her do worse. Out of my way. Let me in. Good evening, everybody. This isn't a robbery. I'm just here to get something that belongs to me back. Also, hi, Detective. Surprised to see you here. So, if anyone has seen a huge lump of gold in the shape of my nose, your cooperation would be highly appreciated. And don't even think about moving a muscle. Tomoe, stop this madness. You're scaring my Hank. I'll make you pay for this. Uh, apart from that, holding up a train is a serious offense. What are you doing here? Detective, you have talked to Abrams about the Golden Sneeze's history. Mr. Abrams told me a thing or two. The story with the little girl, right? Tell me, de de Detective, did you believe that what he told you was true? Well... I'm sure it holds at least some truth. I'm just not sure what part. Detective, I can assure you it was all true. So the monk? True. And the molten gold? Unfortunately, true as well. Wait, so all of that happened for real, how does she know for sure? But while we were talking, an all too familiar thug tried to sneak away. Argh, you distracted me! You, get back here! We weren't sure if we were supposed to protect the little girl from the big thug or the poor kid, poor man from a kid with explosives. 
Either way, we gave chase. Look, little girl, put down the explosive and let the grown-up go, okay? You have my sneeze. I'm not going to let you go that easily. Tome away. Hold it right there. What the? Hey, hold it! Detective, you're the worst. I just had him. Let me fix that. Unit 2, we've got a runner. I'm on it. See, that phone comes in. It always comes in handy. I mean, uh, punch the bad guys. Tomoe, it's time we had a serious talk. Let me go! Sir, you have the right to remain silent. I suggest you exercise it. We'll have a serious talk right after the police are done with that guy. All right, detective. What do you want? That's a good question, but I'm not going to outright tell her that I want to know what she's doing here. As long as I can keep her talk talking to her, she won't run away or wreak any habit. Let me see. What can I talk about with kids? Maybe if I talk about her age positively, I can coax her into talking. You can offend children by telling them they're too young, so I'll have to be careful. You want to know what I want? In that case, tell me. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right here again, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day.